so I grew up 10 minutes down the road from this place. It was a, a closed down ski area, so it was completely off the radar. There was nothing here. And watching it evolve from there into like flow trails and progressive builds and uh, even a slope style contest, like this place has grown heaps. So the reason I started a mountain bike park, it's really, it just stems from a passion. I owned a high-tech business and I sold that and bought this old rundown ski area and with the help of an amazing team, we turned it into Highland Mountain Bike Park. First impressions of Highland, I was pretty blown away. It just had a vibe about it. It's not a big resort. It had this really small, comfortable feeling. I don't know, I was pretty drawn to that and kind of jumped right all in. I was looking at a magazine, I think it was a BMX magazine, and I saw this, this awesome slope style course. And I pointed to it, showed Dave, I said, Dave, can we build this? And he kind of laughed and he goes, yeah, I, I, yeah, we can build anything. In 2008, we started the Claymore Challenge for the first time. The idea for the Claymore Challenge and, and the course, I think they went hand in hand back then. That was our signature event. We wanted to have a, a top tier event for the top level guys. The first year, Cam McCall came out and he won our slope style competition. And then it was uh, Brandon Seminock from every year after that. We ran that for five years and finished in 2012. We realized that it really wasn't something that we could continue doing. It was just outside of our, our mission. Uh, we had a concept called spring training. The idea was sort of similar to like, you know, baseball or any other pro sports camp where the pro athletes come and they, they ride. They have all access to our airbag, slope style, dirt jumps, downhill trails, HTC, and really put some training in to get ready for their upcoming season. Reader in particular, he would come and braid and parrot hay and they would ride more, more hours in a day than there were hours in a day. It was incredible. Brett one year was learning some tricks in the HSC, a front flip bar spin and he ended up throwing it in X Games and that was certainly a big contribution to his win and this is why we're doing this. The real important thing is to have more grassroots slope style contests making it more attainable for riders to show up and do their thing and then, you know, acquire more points so they can go to more of them. Claymore, after a five-year run, sort of ran its course. Deep down, all of us knew that it would come back under the right circumstance and it took a few years and, and here we are. And so along comes the U.S. Open, which I knew from my racing days and the fact that they wanted to bring slope style back to the U.S. was really appealing to us. I feel like anybody can show up and kind of show what they have. This place is open all the time, so anyone can come and practice. I think it's a great opportunity to see some new talent showing up. Anybody can throw their hat in the ring and register and try and compete and prove themselves on a big stage, and that aligns you know, pretty much right on with what we want to do. We want to develop and foster a scene and get up-and-comers and allow them the chance to to get involved and to, and to compete with some of the best guys in the world too. I mean, this is the U.S. Open. It's a chance and a stage for those athletes to come out of the woodwork and I sense that we're gonna have that and I can't wait to see it. <laughs>